How y'all? This is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. How y'all doing? First of all, welcome. Welcome, welcome to my 51st birthday unedited chat. Y'all, I am so excited. Why am I excited? Because I just thank God that he woke me up this morning on my 51st birthday. Many people did not make it to 51 years old. So I am thankful and eternally grateful. Secondly, I'm in my new car and I'm headed to one of my favorite places, which is Daytona Beach. I'm not going to stay long. I probably just put my feet in the water, walk along the beach. You know that, that, that poem, Footprints in the Sand? Just go walk along the sand and talk to my God and just appreciate all his glory and appreciate him for watching over me, keeping me, waking me up, making me who I am. I'm just thankful, I'm grateful, and I'm so, so blessed. And I'm also so, so blessed to have my blessed ones, my YouTube community. When I tell you guys I love you guys, and I thank you, and I appreciate you, I have been on YouTube about nine years, and some of you have been with me, been riding with me for nine years, eight years, seven years, six years. I don't care down to six months or six days. I appreciate you. Each of you, I appreciate you guys so much just making uh, the blessed place what it is and it being so kind and encouraging to me. Also, I'm using my uh, new car mount. So in my new car, I'm using my car mount, my new car mount, and I'm trying to, you know, kind of review it and see how it, um, it or test it rather, and see how it, it works. Now, to me, it's a little shaky, so please forgive the shakiness. Um, I, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for, so I think I probably paid 19 or did I even pay $19.99? I might have paid $9.99. I can't remember. Um, but I, I, if I should get another one, I'd probably get one more sturdy because I can feel a little shakiness. So I don't know if the shakiness is the roadway, my new car, or my new car mount. I don't know what it is, but um, but I'm, I'm loving it. I can at least do more videos because I can just simply turn on the camera and um, talk to you guys. So let's get on to the unedited chat. Well, that is part of the unedited chat because this is unedited. So it's whatever come out of my mouth. So you guys, 51st birthday today, I'm so thankful. And I could just, let's, let's kind of reminisce and go down memory lane a little bit, take you a little bit um, over my life. I can remember being 13 or being 12, turning 13. And I was so elated to turn 13, you guys. You could not tell me I was now not a woman. I'm a woman. I'm 13 years old. I'm a teenager. Oh uh, my And my mama was kind of like, and? <laughs> and then I remember turning 17. When I was 16 and the day I turned 17, I was like, ooh, I'm 17 years old. And I told my mom, or she heard me say, I'm 17 years old. And my mom said, what I mean? Yeah, y'all, I had one of them kind of mamas. <laughs> and I know my mama watched my videos. Hi, mom. Well, my mama bust my bubble. My mama say, uh, what that mean? <laughs> what, you grown now? <laughs> so, uh, no, I was not grown. But um, you couldn't tell me I wasn't grown. So that was age 17. And then I remember um, having my daughter. Um, I got pregnant in my senior year of college. And I was um, and I was playing basketball and I got pregnant before the basketball season started so I got pregnant around I, don't, I guess out of September sometime and then I played basketball up until I was six months pregnant you guys I played basketball and I had my daughter at age about age 22 yeah because I'm 51 and she's 29 so what does that mean when did I have her? It, it, um, her birthday's in June. So I think I was 21 or 22 when I had her. Maybe 21. Yeah, she was born. I was 21 in June. And then I was turned 22 in August. So that was another milestone. Um, and then um, I remember getting saved. That's when I, you know, I, 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 I turned my life over to the Lord. And he changed me from being a, 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 a whoremonger <laughs> and um, a hoe. <laughs> mama, close your ears, close your ears, mama. Uh, my mama didn't raise me like that, y'all. She raised me to be a lady. <laughs> but train up a child in the way it should go. And when they are old, they will not depart. 
they will go only so far and then they will come back but this ain't about that but anyway y'all y'all know me i got to get some word in there because the word is in me um so i remember having um derica and then I remember uh, getting saved. I was about, Derrica was about three and a half when I got saved. So I'm going to say I was about 25 when I got saved. And that was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Okay, then we move on. Um, I eventually, Derrica and I eventually moved back into my mom's house. When Derrica was about third grade, we moved back into my mom's house. And I stayed there for about five years. And I was um, getting to be about 30. And I remember saying, I'm 30 years old. Because before I thought, you know, I'll wait to get a house, you know, when I get my husband. My husband comes along, we'll get a house together. And I remember being in my mom's house and my birth, uh, 30th birthday was coming. And I said, I really, it's time, you know, to move. I have a daughter and she's in third grade. And this man don't look like he's coming along to, to build this, this, this future with. So, I, um went and bought a house. Lord bless, I was able to uh, qualify and I bought a house. And I, that was, I bought the house, uh, I turned 30 in August and bought the house in December. So that was another milestone. And then um, I remember as time going by, me wanting a husband. Because um, there was a time in my past, I, I didn't see myself with a husband nor a child. I had no desire for a husband, no desire for a child. But I got the child, and then I started having a desire for a husband. And at 38 is when I got married. Age 38, you guys. So those of you who are 20, 25, 30, 35, and I hear you all talking about, oh, you know, I'll never get married. Where is he? Sometimes I laugh. I'm like, you're only 20. You're only 25. You're only 30. So I don't care if you're 70. Who God has for you, he is for you. So stay patient okay but it's not about that but y'all know y'all know i could go off on the bird but he's coming if you're waiting wait patiently wait diligently in the diligently and faithfully in the lord he's coming and it's 38 i got married and then i turned the big 4-0 and i could see little changes you know in my eyesight um i um retired but when i was about another milestone I retired when I was about 43. I was 43 years old, retired from my job after 22 and a half years at our sheriff's department. And I I was out on retirement about a year and a half. By then my daughter, 2010, I retired. In 2010, my daughter, Derricka, graduated from college, which was another milestone. My baby graduated from an awesome college, um, Xavier University in Connecticut. Oh, oh Lord, it's not in Connecticut. Um, oh, is it? Oh, Lord Jesus. Good as I know where it is. 51. But anyway, um, yeah, so Derek graduated from Xavier University. And that was a milestone, a, a proud mama moment. Then I was out of work for or, or on retirement for a year and a half. And Derek came and moved back home. And she and I worked out. And I lost 75 pounds through her tutelage and her personal training me. And uh, then... As time passed, I went back to work after a year and a half. I went back to work part-time. Then I worked part-time for about five years. And about a year ago, that's as you all mostly know, um, my job asked me about applying for being a supervisor. So then I became supervisor. And that, my one-year anniversary as a supervisor um, was in July, about July 14th. So then that leads me up to 50. My husband threw me a surprise 50th birthday. No, it wasn't a surprise. No, it wasn't a surprise because he's, he was going to try to make it a surprise, but he said there's no surprise in my wife, especially when, when money is missing and funds are missing. I'd be up on that money, honey. So um, he's like, ain't no need to try me trying to surprise her. But he and my sister, Denise, organized and took care of everything, and they gave me a 50th birthday um, celebration, and it was awesome, amazing. Um, I really appreciated all of that. And now, 51. 51 years old. So you guys, at 51, I started, well actually around about age 49. And then especially turning 50. But especially approaching age 51, I started feeling my mortality. And what I mean by that is thinking constantly, more constantly about death. Now I don't want to make this a morbid 
type of video because this is really a happy video. But I, but just to be honest with you guys, let's start thinking more about death. And you know, so many of my peers have died. You know, um, people younger than me, a lot of my peers who didn't make it to age 51, which is why I'm so grateful because some of my high school friends or associates or acquaintances or people I know on Facebook, a lot of them didn't make it to age 51. So I started thinking about those things. And when I went to bed last night, the last thing I said in my prayers when I talked to the Lord and I just said, Lord, I thank you for bringing me this far. Well, actually I stayed awake. I stayed awake until after midnight because on the one hand I said, Deidre, you need to go to bed early enough because most of you know I'm a night hawk. And I said, Deidre, you need to go to bed early enough so that you don't sleep all your birthday away. But then I said, no, I'm not going to bed before my birthday because what if I don't wake up? <laughs> Y'all, that's what I said. I said, I'm going to stay awake. Like if the Lord didn't mean, you know, want me to be alive. Like I, he couldn't take me while I was awake. Lord, you can only take me when I'm asleep. <laughs> so I said, no, I'm going to stay awake till after midnight so I can at least say I made it to my birthday. So I stayed up. It's about 1.30, this, 1.30, 2 o'clock this morning. And then I went ahead and got into bed. But when I got into bed, I started, you know, just talking to the Lord and praying. Oh, Lord, y'all, that was my exit over there. Jesus. <laughs> Anyway, I have to go down to the next exit. So I started um, praying, uh, and and that's the one. And one of the last thing I, I did was just thank God for bringing me to my fifty first birthday. But I said, Lord, if you don't wake me up in the morning, I thank you for fifty one years, fifty one awesome, beautiful years. That was every year awesome. Was every moment awesome? No, I've gone through some things, you guys. I've seen some things. I've heard some things. I've felt some things. I've done some things. Oh, Lord, have I done some things. But I ain't going to tell y'all all the things I've done because my mama be watching. <laughs> but I just thank God. I, I thanked God for what he had given me and blessed me with and done for me up to this 51 years. And I said, Lord, if I don't wake up, you know, I, 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 I commend my spirit into, you know, into your hands and um, I pray that that I've done what I'm supposed to do to make it in to where I want to where I want to be, which is heaven. So um, that that's 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 catch you up on my life up until 51 years, up until my prayers this morning as I um, lay my head down. So you guys, God blessed. He woke me up this morning. Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to see where in the world I am going. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, hold on. Hold on, Lordy. Okay, there was an arrow telling me I had to get into the next lane. I didn't see it. So, that brought bring you up to my 51 years. And um, the Lord did give me a good night's sleep and woke me up. And now I'm headed to Daytona Beach just to, like I say, put my feet in the sand and enjoy um, one of my favorite pastimes. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord, this car in front of me. Oh. Uh, swerving almost hit a barrel because I don't know uh, you can't see them but there are barrels and they were trying to go around a semi and didn't know that there were barrels up there and thank you Lord for sparing their life thank you Jesus for sparing their life okay you guys I love you all I appreciate y'all thank you all for spending this time with me um, letting me uh, talk your ear off y'all I'm, I'm, I'm also watching up front because driving is crazy but I mean, all kinds of things happen in driving so anyways you guys so thank you all for hanging with me thank you all i know uh, you're probably going to give me some um, birthday shout outs and wishes i mean i'm not trying to be <laughs> presumptuous here but i'm assuming that i probably get some um, birthday shout out so i'm telling you in advance thank you thank you for the birthday shout outs thank you for the love thank you for the support thank you for watching um especially those of you who watch till the end because i know our attention span can be very short so those of us those of you who made it to the end um i want you to tell me in the comments say d i made it to the end i made it i made it i made it we made it y'all we made it if you're watching me right now, I, you know I got to end this on something inspirational. If you are watching me right now, you've gone through some things. Every, all of us have not gone through the same things. But you might have gone through some hurt. 
You might have gone through some pain. You might have gone through some disappointments. You might have gone through some molestation. You might have gone through some incest. You might have gone through divorce. You might have gone through illness. You might have gone through death. You know, I miss my daddy. I wish my daddy, I wish I could talk to my daddy today on my 51st birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. It's, it's, it's tears of joy, but I miss my daddy. But some of you might have gone through some things. You might be lonely. You might be alone. You might be broke. A broker than a joker. <laughs> you might not have enough money at the end of the month. You might not have enough month at the end of the money. <laughs> We've all gone through some things. We all have issues. You might be struggling with some things. You're struggling with food addiction. Or you're struggling with sex addiction. Or you're struggling with porn addiction. Or you're struggling with anger. You're struggling with hurt. You're struggling. There, there's so many things. A plethora of issues and things that we can be struggling with and oftentimes multiple things we're struggling with but if you're listening to me if you're alive if you're breathing we made it we made it we made it we made it another day we don't know what an hour from now bring we don't know what tomorrow may bring we know we don't know what next year may be next month next week next year but right now this moment when the devil thought he had you, we made it. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I'm always supposed to be crying. <laughs> but I miss my daddy. But also, too, when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for taking care of me, for loving me. We made it. Okay, you guys, don't be sad. The tears of joy, the tears of thankfulness, tears of gratitude. We made it, you guys. And if you watch this to the end, I want to know, I want you to say, D, we made it. Or D, I made it. Or D, in spite of blank, I made it. Despite of, I'm going to let y'all go. I want you to let me know, despite whatever it was, if you feel like sharing, if you don't feel like sharing, just say, D, in spite of, I made it. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed.